like Yeti person, so he's fallen in love with Yeti, so he's bought, of course, bought me one as well. Poor Kev, I would have rather that colour, but I wasn't going to make him have a hot pink one. It's very bright pink. Just mainly because the lids are different to the popsicles. Like, I love my popsicle, but the lids on this are easier to come off and clean. They're magnetic, so it's actually easier to clean them. Whereas the popsicles are a bit hard. Anyway, the thoughts there. <laughs> It's just not look quite my colour. Once upon a time, I probably would have loved that bright pink, but not so much anymore. It's fine. Um, it's funny because actually the dogs have got a Yeti dog bowl, so they were the first ones to have Yeti stuff. <laughs> but Kevin bought a one a lot bigger than this. He got for his off. To, to, you see, you see, it takes to work. He's got a big one, and he's re and then he realised that they had the magnetic closures here, so you can get the on and off. So that's why he decided we needed a smaller one to replace the corks, of course, that are hard to clean. Um, but he also bought me a drink one as well, which I don't think I need. But it's funny because like, that's almost the same colour as my drink bottle. I'm more into the blues and the blues and greens and teals than hot pink. But it's okay. It's a, it's a cup. <laughs> it's fine. And if I really like it, I might look for a different coloured one. Anyway, but this is, this is fine for now. The thought that counts and it's a practical upgrade, I think, from the corksicle. Oh, and if you're wondering where we are, I don't think I said we stopped to charge because the charging was getting up every time we got home. So, plus he hasn't got a fast charger at home. And you can hear some heavy breathing from some puppy behind me. Hello, beautiful boy. Well, it's kind of nice to be home <laughs> now that I've taken care of a lot of the housework that had to be done. Just got some hummus and carrot to have for our little rest out here. I've hung out the first load of washing. I've tied up most of the kitchen, put groceries away, put the washing in. Oh, cotton. I think Kev being autistic is a bit like Christy, and if he doesn't want to do a job, he finds it very hard to make himself do it. Like, I didn't ask him to do many things and he didn't get them done. And then I knew coming home, but it was still a bit of a shock. I don't know why. <laughs> I think I was just tired when I got home and I didn't want to have to do all the stuff I had to do. I've still got a bit more unpacking to do, but. Most of that's done. I'm just going to have a little rest now. I guess I'll go and have lunch and watch some YouTube while we have lunch. Then I'm going to come back outside again. Oh, I probably didn't tell you Mum cancelled on today. I was really looking forward to going out too, so I was a bit disappointed about that. But it's good having got the house sorted, so I guess that's a positive of it. But it's such a nice day. I think I said I was really looking forward to going down to Shell Cove and being outside for a bit since it's a nice warm day. And who knows when it will be this nice again, or this warm again. Anyway. She apparently had a bad night's sleep last night, so. Or was I think they used to me to be able to put it to the next day, and I said, I don't know about tomorrow, because we plan on having a home day tomorrow, because we're on Sunday. So, I was saying, I don't know, I don't know about tomorrow. I was just looking forward to having a nice day at home with Kevin and snuggling in and spending time with him and the pups. But we'll see, I guess, about lunch tomorrow. Maybe they can come here instead of us going down there cool down a bit because I'm quite warm. <laughs> you forget how quick they are when it's been cold but I'm hot and sweaty again. I've already changed into something a bit cooler. So yeah, not quite the homecoming I was hoping for but it's my fault. I should have got it, do it with all the washing before I went away but it wasn't quite dry. So I know next time I need to have everything the house spick and span and then hopefully should be too much when I come home. Or just accept this is what's going to be like when I get home. That's okay. The sun now, and we have moved the dishwasher down the end there. Not beautiful, but I don't really look that direction too much, so it'll be fine. Okay, we still got to do the leads that are there behind me so I don't fall over them. But yeah, he went to take it downstairs, and I just I don't feel comfortable helping him carry that because the steps are quite narrow, and I thought, well, I don't know how I feel about that. So we'll just pop it there. <laughs> but really, bugs us, we can look at moving it, but we'll see. Should we want some carrots? I better give him some. I need this hummus and stuff. Oof. And we just want to back straight into the grind. <laughs> Facebook, but it was on there. Oh, yeah. I 
don't send me to Google. It was a free ticket, but there's only so many available. So we got one a few weeks back. Okay, so what it's like. We've only got a couple of hours here and well, actually had about an hour and a half. Do we need tickets? Yeah. Oh, there you go. They're on my phone. But they were free. That's fine. Well, I guess they want to limit numbers. <coughs> so anyway, we'll um, show you what it's like, I guess. We'll all learn together. You wouldn't have fallen over if you... We wouldn't have had far to go if we hadn't moved, would we? We used to live here. Not oh. here in the road, I mean. In the adjacent area. Right here, I reckon. Sound good? Yeah. <laughs> Loaded fried dough balls. I just had my breakfast, I'm full. I'm content. This one's six. Yeah. Also a griddle? Yep. Okay. It's a bit <laughs> funny how they take on different yep. ones. Like I think it's okay, it's okay Freddy. It's okay. It's okay. Don't be scared. Used to be, this one used to be scared of okay. everyone, everything. Yeah, everything, he was. Uh, and now it's um They're very similar actually. They are, so yeah. It's <laughs> okay. It's okay. He needs a clip. Oh, he's going to get clipped in a week or two. No, he's not. Yeah, Isn't he? I thought you said he was getting clipped. No, he's fluffed. Hello, puppy dog. Come on. Come on. Do you not need any more toys? 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 They're not a big raincoat. Good boy, Coda. He likes the little puppies. <laughs> Good boys. You're making order friends today. Order friends. You're good boys today. Yeah, well, it's dog after dog, you don't have to. This is perfect for them, Kevin. I need. Hello? got a fancy skirt on. Okay, Seven dollars a night, though. Someone living out. <laughs> Looks a bit like Sammy. Oh, so beautiful. Oh. Yeah, fifteen. Well, that's all right. We just lost our fifteen-year-old one. Yeah. We always had goldens, then we got these. Yeah. Do you find the goldens? Well, we wanted smaller. They're very dogs. similar to the gold, but we just don't share. Just a little bit. Yeah. I, I wanted one like him. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, oh, oh look how beautiful. <laughs> oh, I love it. I love her ears. Look at those ears. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Yeah, they have been oh. <laughs> you got to see the naughty behaviour. <laughs> so, so many doggies. So many puppies. Help me down. Six. Jump over the things. Oh, <laughs> And a clever puppy, you yeah? so you look ugly face. Mr. Mr's getting himself some Dutch pancakes. Same, even though it might have had dog juice on it. Yeah. I've they probably, pull things off this before. I know, I've probably eaten dog juice before. I like that little puppy over there, he's cute. A little bit. So many doggies. Yeah, I know. Oh, and cream. Quite a beautiful chewy. Oh, that was fun. Oh, so many puppies. I think the doggies enjoyed themselves. They did. They woofed at the first dog and then realised there's a million other dogs. Yeah. So they can't that was any code, eh? Yeah. No, they were really good overall. I think very good. That was a success. So now we're heading down to Shell Cove. I guess we'll do our shopping first. And then we've got our vaccinations. What flu and COVID vaccinations booked in for 12.30. Oh, we've got to drop the doggies off first, though. So. Okay, we'll go and drop the doggies off first. Then we'll go and do that. Timing wise, we're pretty perfect, and then we're having lunch with mum and dad. I can't remember if I told you this or not because I don't think I vlogged at all yesterday or much since coming home from hospital. That was, just, now, you were home all day, so weren't you? Yeah, we we've, had a, we've had two we've had sleeps where days. you've been at home. Yeah, we had a, a bunch of home dad do lots of things, got the house all organized, got the washing finally brought left in. It in a mess. Yeah, got the washing board in, made some soup, made some. Did, did made someone leave the washing out the entire week? Yeah. yeah. Well, let's still do our soup. I made three things yesterday, I'm sure. I don't remember now. But, oh, I did some roast vegetables. But too. somebody installed Starlink though, didn't they? Yes. That was nice. That's better than the internet we have in the house. <laughs> anyway, it's a nice day at home. We had a nice bath. We watched some YouTube. 
catching up on a bit of our YouTube that we've missed from the last week, so that was good. Yeah, it was good to have a nice home day, and then obviously we're out for much of today, so <laughs> that worked out well. Anyway, we'll see you down at Shell Carpet. <laughs> drive by the Angora apartments. Oh, it's nice. I don't know if you guys have seen it. It's all been inside. unwrapped. But a drone shot might actually be able to see inside. Yeah, this is building C. All their plants done. Yeah, we've still got lots of plants going in, looks yeah. like. Now up to building B. Everyone's worried about all the sarking getting ripped because of the wind, because the corn's in the oh, Okay. So nice, doesn't it? Well, Coda's going back to see the pool. I've got the corner on that, Kevin. Yeah. On the top floor, Coda will be able to see the pool. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Wait, have we got corners like that yet? Yeah. yeah, and it's glass, and the glass goes down to the floor. Because this is our apartment, it's here on the end for anyone new, and it goes front to back. And the pool out. is in here. That little step out to our kitchen window. Yeah, yeah, our kitchen window is just up there somewhere. But yeah, Coda's going to the pool. <laughs> you said this stuff should be coming down in the next week or so. Oh, that'll be good. <clears throat> oh, so they're still saying September, October. Oh, October. October. Oh, and we go away at the end of October, which is great. Good timing for us. But I actually trust them. I don't know why yeah. I trust them. All they did was talk to us. So I told you Kevin went to a meeting with them the other day. I can't yeah. remember what I've logged. No, so, I was in was I in hospital then? Yeah, I was in hospital. Yeah. I probably did mention it then. Yeah, so um, the guy, even though they just talked to us, so we have no other evidence, Fraser's, or the, the developer, the builders was days away from going broke. So what they've done is they, um, as the developer, they've put another $14 million in and they're paying all the builders, contractors directly. So, and they've taken control of all of the trades, they've taken control of all the deliveries. So they've basically become the builder so they can trust that it'll get done. And I trust Fraser's because they've been around a long time and they're good at doing that stuff. So, this is a that's, hotel that's in front. That's the hotel. It looks like a big one. Yeah, it's far enough away from us though, I feel. Yeah, so what happens if we walk down to here? Are we going to be able to walk down? Are we still yeah, the stairs there. Still walk down those steps? Yeah. That's good. And it'll probably be opened up a bit once. Yeah. One day we'll be here one day. The hotel might open before before we get in. Oh, they are a fair distance from the hotel though. It's further than you. You kind of worry. I'll worry that's going to seem closer, but we've got a road. Yeah, you've got you barely thing. see someone muddy in, yeah. a, in a room. Oh, you, don't you can see through Kevin's dirty window, but you can see the gap where the pool is. <laughs> well, can I go down there? I like I can go down there. Hmm. I've been down here for years because it's always blocked. Excited. We're so excited about this move. Yeah. Still want it to happen. And the property value's gone up a lot, so if we get in and we're really not happy there, we can just sell and do something else. But we think we'll be happy there. We're just talking to a lady who lived down the road from us at Kana Hooker, and she used to live down here for a bit too, and she was saying it was just very busy on the weekends. We don't have to venture over here on the weekend. She was living in the apartments above the supermarket, so. And it's a weekend today. <laughs> it was certainly busy during the school holidays, wasn't it, down here? It was very busy in the school holidays. We don't tend to come here, though. we try to avoid those times. Chemists now get our shorts, aren't we? And then I've got exposed a little bit of tummy. Not too nice chemist. I love this short story stuff. Got a few bits at home. Vaccinations are done. Lots and lots of shopping as well in there. <laughs> Shay got some makeup and Kim's got a heat bag and I've got some hand cream for these hands that are so dry. We're now going to go into the 
the sauce and then go back to the chemist to pick all our stuff up. Hello. Hi. Good thing. I've been to the supermarket, got our few groceries, mainly oatly milk we're out of. chemist has got a nice noisy trolley. Lots of puppies here as well. And then we're just around to the Japanese restaurant to pick up lunch to take in for mum and dad. Beautiful day, it's nice and warm now. ones obviously you don't want to play with them is that how you kill yourself no but it's a no, it's a bit, that would kill you not yourself yeah these are hermit crabs <laughs> they're pretty cute and then over here we've got what the game calls coconut crabs even though obviously real life coconut crabs are not <laughs> like this at all 